Hello my YouTube friends. There are a lot of cool tools that I use to make my live streams better. I want to share my favorites with you today. So these are my five favorite live streaming tools. And of course, there's going to be an awesome bonus. So you're going to want to watch all the way to the end. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Number one is definitely OBS. OBS Studio is the wheel that makes live streaming turn. It's an open source tool that allows you to live stream to virtually any platform. Best of all, it's open source, and that means it's totally free. So what can you do with OBS Studio? Well, in short, you can put together a broadcast that's going to rival anything you can find on TV. You can add an infinite number of cameras collected through multiple scenes with overlays, lower thirds, media content, and even multiple computers chained together if you want to go totally all out. It's absolutely amazing. And because it's open source, you also have an awesome community that creates all kinds of add-ons. And these add-ons called plugins can create some amazing effects. And that brings me to my next one, my favorite favorite add-on. The second thing is the Move Transition. It's an awesome plugin and I just love it. The Move Transition is a community-made plugin for OBS Studio that allows you to move cameras fluidly from one scene to another with transitions. You can also move a camera or a media asset anywhere you want around your scene. It's unbelievable. I mean, I love it. And the best part is it's totally free. There's a link in the description to the move transition if you want to check it out for yourself. And I highly recommend it. It's freaking awesome. The third thing is StreamYard and I use it to add guests. It's just amazing. StreamYard is a browser-based application that allows you to live stream easily with guests. And because it's browser based, it doesn't take up a lot of computer power to run it either. Now I don't live stream from StreamYard, but I do use its guest tools to be able to easily bring guests into my OBS live streams. It makes it so easy to do interviews and stuff like that on my live streams that look professional. And it takes all the hassle out of adding guests to an OBS live stream. If you want to check out StreamYard for yourself, there's a link in the description. The fourth thing is stream elements and I use it to accent my overlays with widgets for alerts and all kinds of other really cool stuff. If you want to add cool alerts to your live streams for donations and other events, stream elements is the way to go. It has a super simple interface so you can customize alerts and even make your own with ease. Now I've used stream elements to create all kinds of stream animations that activate when there's an event on my live stream. And I just love how easy it is to use. Once again, there is a link below in the description to stream elements if you want to check it out. And I would highly recommend it. It's just awesome if you want to add any kind of custom widgets or alerts to your live stream. Number five is Place It. And I use Place It for all kinds of awesome things on my channel. But for my live streams, I use it to create bumper videos and easy overlays that I can add animation to. It's just awesome. Now, I personally have been using Envato Placeit for almost a year to create custom bumper videos with my own logo. The logo was actually created in Placeit as well. My countdown screens, my wait screens, my loading a guest screen, and even my close screen were all created with Placeit. I used the overlay template to create guest overlays and animated overlays I use for all kinds of different scenes. The options are limitless and it saves me so much time and it can save you time as well. Check out Envato Place It with the link in the description and see if it's gonna work for you. And now for the bonus, it's my loop deck and this thing is amazing. I'm not sure I could stream without it at this point. Loop Deck Live is just an epic tool that allows me to map everything I do on my live stream to simple buttons on this tiny interface. I need to adjust a microphone level? No problem. Cough button? easy. Play sound effects, change scenes, control media effects. No matter what it is that you want to do, Loop Deck Live makes it so easy. I wouldn't live stream without mine at this point. Check it out for yourself. There's a link in the description. What are your favorite live streaming tools? 
let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how to create awesome animated overlays, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.